So we've been talking about how God created this wonderful world that we live in and how he took darkness and nothing and he made light and he made sun and the moon and the stars and the plants and the flowers and the trees and land and animals and how he made people and he made this big beautiful world and he looked at it and said oh it's so good and it was great for a long time for a long time him and Adam and Eve got to walk in the garden and they would talk together every night and every night every evening God would come down to earth and he would walk with Adam and Eve and and they would get to see him and they would just talk to him and it was wonderful but God gave us the power to choose you know we get to to choose things. We get to choose if we're going to listen to our mommy and daddy. And, you know, if we don't, we kind of get in trouble, right? And we get to choose if we're going to stop and take time to go to the potty. And if we don't, sometimes we have an accident in our pants, which is not that good. And we get to choose if we're going to eat or not. And we get to choose all these things. And God gave Adam and Eve the power to choose. And he said, you've got this big, gorgeous world and I want to be with you forever. So if I'm going to be with you forever, you've got to make that choice. So if you want that, then don't eat from this tree. Because just don't eat from this tree. That's all you got to do. Just that one thing. Don't eat from that tree. Well, Adam and Eve ate from the tree. So when they ate from the tree and disobeyed God, sin came into the world. And sin is what happens when we don't follow God and we, we don't do what God asks us to do because God wants what's best for us. So God says, if I want what's best for you and if, to get what's best for you, this is what you need to do. So if we do what God says, then that's what's best for us. But a lot of times we don't do what God says, you know, and we sin and that's when we, we aren't nice to people or we don't listen to our moms and dads. All of that sin. Well, Adam and Eve sinned, and they, they had sin come in this world, and they had kids who had kids who had kids who had kids, and the world was filling up with people, and all these people were sinning. And it got so bad that God looked down at the world, and he said, this is not good. I am kind of feel sorry that I made this world. I mean, I made this big, beautiful creation, and and... It's yucky now. I mean, it's got so much sin in it. It's just yucky. So he said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start over, all over. So he found this guy who lived a life that followed God, and this guy's name was Noah. Now, here's your choice. What did Noah build? That's right. Noah built an ark, a really, 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 really big boat. So God said, Noah, we're going to start over. I'm going to send a big flood and it's going to cover the whole earth and it's going to be you and your family and you're going to take all the animals that I've created and you're going to put them on this big boat. So Noah started working on this boat and it took a long, long, long time for Noah to build this boat. People made fun of him because it hadn't rained ever yet. So they said, what are you talking about, Noah? It's rain? What's rain? So Noah made this big boat, and and then God said, all right, I'm going to send you the animals, and here come all the animals, and there was two of every kind of animal, and there was seven of all the animals they could eat. So, you know, they had like two elephants, and two lions, and two pigs, and two eagles, but then they had seven chickens and seven sheep, and oh, that's a lot of animals. That's a, that's a lot of poop. Shoot. E. So on this big boat came all these animals, and it started raining, and raining, and raining, and raining, and raining, and raining, and, raining. and it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. And the earth filled up with water, and the boat started floating. And they were on this boat for over a year. Whew, that's a long time on that boat. And then the water started to go down, 
And Noah sent out birds, and the birds came back with leaves to say, look, there, there's land out there, and the trees are coming back. And and then Noah sent out another bird, and it didn't come back. So the boat stopped, and it set on land, and the door opened, and all the animals came out. Oh, it was beautiful. The earth was back, and it was trees, and it was fresh, and it was new again. And Noah built an altar to God to worship God, and God put a huge rainbow in the sky to promise that we'd never, ever flood the earth again. Oh, it was great, wonderful, beautiful again, just like God created. But it didn't last that long, unfortunately, because Noah and his sons kept sinning. But God made the promise. He said, I'll never flood the earth again. And that's why, even now, when it rains and you see a beautiful rainbow in the sky, it's a reminder of God's promise. God's promise, it says, I'm not going to flood the earth. Don't worry. It might rain, and it might rain a lot, but I'm not going to destroy the earth with water. Oh, what a beautiful promise he has for us, because God loves us. Even when you sin, God loves you. Oh, what a wonderful story. I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Bye.